Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Lone Wolf episode uh, something. We're playing the game on the highest difficulty and trying to win with only a single soldier permission. So far it's going okay, I would say. To make contact soon to maybe get to the Black Side facility. Our biggest problems are um, at the moment the Chosen and the Avatar project. So both of them are really a struggle to deal with. We're fine on some of the resources, specifically Intel and supply are, uh, supplies are okay for now. We're totally lacking other things. Was an okay month. Let's see what she is doing. Attempting to sabotage the uh, Avenger. She's probably going to fill up. Next retaliation strikes happening very soon. We can't do anything against it. Anyways, the facility construction will happen soon as well. None of this here provides us any benefits that we wouldn't have already. Scanning rewards increased and soldier experience is the best that we have gotten. It's really, we really have a hard time um, getting the right resistance orders. Is there maybe a covert ops mission for resistance orders? Here. Yeah, that's not a good one. But this year, but this year might help us gain additional resistance orders and covert uh, covert actions might be the key. Very soon a retaliation strike should happen. Yep, there we go. Objective, Haven Assault. Uh, that sounds a lot like trying to kill some of the enemies. You know, question of the day is who could theoretically do this mission? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it depends. We can send Roby and hope for the best. If we're going to encounter a single enemy that we can't beat, we're essentially out of there. I don't I don't expect us to win this mission at all. Success would be maybe one single kill. Well, we don't even have resistance operatives at our site. Oh, well. Let's see, we're going to Overwatch and... Oh yeah, sure. That's going to work out against Archons. This is so not going to work out. Archons are hard to hit as it stands. What else are we fighting against? Oh, Berserkers. You know what? I would probably prefer fighting against Berserkers all day long. There must be someone back here. Might as well pull them. Could have been a faceless one, who knows.
Oh, yeah. We mildly injured one with six points of damage. This is this is so not going to work out. Well, we could at least kill the Viper. Okay, we can move up to here. And uh, we could kill the Viper. So for a little bit of experience, it's not even that bad. No need to ask twice. Running and gunning. Going in for the Viper. That's a 66% chance to kill it. And with a sword, it's a 66% chance to kill it. Let's go for the sword kill. Yeah. I don't want Roby to be killed. These guys here can single shot him or melee kill him. We don't have the amount of hit points. We killed like what? One? It's better than zero. Unfortunately, we can't simply take corpses with us. I would have really taken one with us. And the whole uh, corpse uh, dilemma is we need it for some of the key research. So unless we're getting corpses from somewhere. Commander, if you come across anyone with an aptitude for the sciences, send them my way. I could use the help. Hmm. Okay, well, that was as expected, not very uh that was pretty one sided, not very exciting. Could kill a single one and squeeze out as much as I could out of that run. Good. Within the proving grounds. I would want us to go and build the school jack. And you know, before we do so, Let's shortly go and do the Hunter's X, because that could actually help us in real combat situations. Don't think we need the skull check right away. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. A few days rest, they'll be ready to get back in. We just got some new intel on the chosen. Pretty soon we'll be good. New faction orders impact modeling. Speed of all armor research is increased by 15%. Well, first things first. Our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. Hmm. Well. This resistant order wouldn't suck, I would effectively do it. There's a moderate chance for an ambush here. How long is Hogbite out of the game? 13 days. If we scan for faster recovery, that means we can get one mission in before. Well, I would like him to 
to do this mission here as well, because he needs the dodge. Ooh. Dodge nine with only seven days. That's good. Okay, in which case, let's put those two on the mission, make sure they are not being captured. And if it's an ambush, we're taking our best equipment with us. It's almost ridiculous to say that and still have assault weapons because we're not getting any alien alloys. Mm. So yeah, there's a moderate chance for an ambush here, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Might as well be able to kill some of uh, the losts for additional ranks to rank up Ro uh, Roby here. And plus one mobility isn't bad either. Yeah, 13 days. Gotta speed that up. Let's heal a little bit faster. Oh wait, one of the things that I haven't checked, I mean we have plenty of intel. Let's check the black market real quick. Mm, that's pretty good. More Larium crystals are helpful. Yep, I'm willing to pay for that because we need we will need Alarium. They can have the expanded magazines. So that was a pretty decent trade for us. Let's heal faster. And we probably need to upgrade our supplies soon. Yeah, I can't I I can't uh, help about the progress there. I mean, we will get two two bubs, uh, bubbles off of the Avatar project. That is really, really good. Finally got the gauntlet upgrades for our Templar as well. Shit, we need Advent Mac Breakdown. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to get a Mac Breakdown? That means we need to kill Max first. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. How am I supposed to do that? Predator Armor. 12 Advent Trooper corpses. Not gonna happen. 60 Alien Alloys. 300 supplies. Well, supplies aren't the problem, but the other two items are. So, for the foreseeable future, we'll probably need to build individual exosuits. 
Yep, there's another facility, and I can't do a single thing about it. Uh, that's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blips away. Oh no, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Tch, easy. Easy. Got another target. Well, neutralizing a field commander. Um, I don't know if I want to counter this dark event here, to be honest, because the ambushes on the covert op actions are pretty much the only thing that, that work in this entire campaign. So having them is very, very helpful. We're bringing Nightwalker, and the idea is I would want to make a couple of kills and then just evac out. A kill or two would be helpful. We just can't win the mission. Uh, we could try to kill the... Uh, the um, The field commander, but that's most likely not a good idea. We could also sacrifice our Reaper in the hopes of getting a leveled up Reaper as one of the rewards of the Covert Ops actions. That would give us a, what, sergeant probably? Maybe even lieutenant? So that's one line of um, one line of play that we could do I think it was difficult or very difficult meaning we will get a shit ton of enemies here Yeah. Not necessarily seeing how we can beat those guys. Our weapons are just way too light. See, they're even standing in a somewhat optimal position, right? Right. Okay. And this here is our strongest, our strongest um, utility in our arsenal at the moment. We might hope that the stun lancer catches fire, which he does not. Yeah, they are unaware about our location. We must go now. And we might be able to kill one of them. Which is super pathetic if you think about it. Might we we would need to crit and maximum damage. <laughs> there we go. Yay, get a crit and we killed one of them. Nice. We are so, so incredibly far behind the curve. Nine enemies.
You know what? With two soldiers, I would have even taken the fine. But with a single soldier, it's, there's just nothing you can do. So it's, it is his, his sixth mission and it was the very first kill. Good job. Good job. Now that is helpful, specifically if we're going to do certain missions, uh, that's some extra damage. Ooh, and finally an ambush. That is super welcome. I like it. Um, Let's do this mission um, in our next episode. Idea of uh, the ambush will be to farm the loss if possible by any means and just at least get a high level soldier. Maybe we can maybe we can counteract some of some of the game's hardships during, um, by doing that. If we can level up the soldiers, maybe that is. That is a way to to stay further in the game. I don't know if a colonel uh, alone with a shitty equipment will be able to carry it, but maybe we're getting the alien alloy somewhere, and then at least the shotgun is upgraded. Um, so I can see a world where on easy missions that could work, just the sheer... Um, Alpha strike potential is uh, combined with um, implacable and untouchable. I could see that uh, happening, but we're still pretty far away from it and we will need experience. So the loss will be our key to do, uh, to do that. They are the only enemies which we currently can reliably kill. Uh, we would. It would be even better if we have the Between the Eyes uh, mod. That way we could uh, chain kill them. But yeah, can't change that now. Um, I'll stop here and we're going to go into the next um, mission in our next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it was a pleasure and see you very soon. Bye bye.